Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my new video series on space claim and uh, earlier I have started the video series on the design molder. So first of all I will go to the file menu and from the file menu click on the space claim options. And the first thing we want to set is the units of the geometry. So in the starting this should be done. So go to the units. And from here you can see that we have the type is a matrix system. You can make it imperial. And, and the length is in the millimeters. You can make it in the meters, for example. And the angle can be changed into the different type of the angle definitions like degrees, radians. And also we can set the, the grid dimension. That is the, the grid over here. So right now the grid dimension has a minor grid spacing of 1 millimeter and the number of grid lines per major are the 10. So it's uh, the major grid line is which is this block is 10 units, 10 millimeters and the minor is the, the width of uh, this uh, grid spacing is a 1 millimeter. So we cannot create the with the help of uh, these grids less than the 1 millimeter. Although we can create the 0.5 millimeter with the help of the keyboard but that's, that's not possible with the help of just selection from the screen and the mouse. So let's say we keep the meters here and the first thing you can observe that we have the one sketching plane there are the three sketching planes in fact the zx, xy and the yz and uh, you can change them to the any plane view so just click on that view and you can change into the any type of the view here so just after that just click on the look at and now we are in the x5 plane and you can also move the grid and uh, that is to move the at different locations so we have uh, this sketching toolbar here and then we have the molding tab here so from sketching tab you can draw line square the circle and the curves intersection of points and here is the right now it is in the in the sketch mode then we have the section mode then we have the 3d mode and then we have the select more option for 3d modeling the pull command the pull command is the generic all-purpose command and it can be used for the almost to create any type of geometry with the help of the uh, this command in the space claim you can move your geometry. The fill command is used to defeature the geometry or to fill the some gaps in the geometry. For example, there's a missing surface. So select the all the edges and then just click on the fill and this fill create a surface directly there. And then we have the these command, for example, blend. We have the, the replace command and then we have the tweak surface or tweak face to change the geometry of the face here. And combined tool can be used for the multiple purposes. For example, it can be used for the the splitting of the geometry, and it can be also used to combine the two geometrical entities. A split body, split project, intersect, and to create the plane, to create the axis, and then to create the point, axis, and uh, cylinder, sphere. So let's start with the creating of the some simple circle. So it will, and also on the on the left hand side, you can see there is a pen, and this pen you can set the let's say snap to grid, snap to angle, create layout layout curves, and dimensions can be done in the Cartesian or in the polar, and you can also lock the base point. So let's say I start with the Cartesian dimension, which is default here, and this will select the my center point and uh, if we want to set the dimension from keyboard so i have to press a space bar and this will be now selection mode and then in the data entry mode so let's see if i put the value of uh, diameter as a point zero five as a point zero five and after that the second thing is that now i want to create a circular cylinder so for that thing I have to use the pull command. This will automatically change the, the, the view from the sketching mode to the 3D mode and select the geometry here. And now you can move the geometry in the two dimensions. 
So this can create cylinder in the positive direction or it can create cylinder in the negative direction. So let's say move uh, on the positive side. And again, if I press the space bar key, and now you can enter the value of the length of cylinder. Let's say it's the uh, one meter, something like this. Okay, so undo this thing. And let's say now I want to make a square or the rectangle. So I have this uh, option from the three coordinates in this way. And again, if you pull this, uh, this sketch, this surface, again, we get the 3D box or the, this uh, uh, rectangular prism. Okay, again, undo. Then we have the one more option, which is uh, rectangle with the uh, center point. So this will, uh, will automatically distribute the, its length and width around center point. So let's say the center point is uh, the origin point. So here we have to select the option, define rectangle from center. So first click on the center point and then it will give you the line, this line here. So this line shows that the, we are at the center. So this, this rectangle will be symmetric. And if you put the dimension same on the length and the width, so this will be a going to be the symmetrical square. So now it's a symmetrical square on the both sides and this is equally distributed on the X axis on the both sides and as well as on the around the y axis. Now let's say again we make the one cube here in this way. Okay, so let's say now I, I make inner geometry. So I have to select the, my surface here. And then again I go back to sketching mode. And uh, from the this uh, axis point, you can also click on the, the simple sketching mode into simple sketching mode or the plane view and now again I click the pull command and I create the inner geometry from here. Okay, so again undo this command and uh, next command is that I select the this surface, right click and copy and then paste here. So now I have two surfaces of this circular shape here and uh, one solid is there and now I can hide the solid which also include the one surface on the solid which is circular surface here and this can be used to define the boundary condition as well. So now I pull this surface and this time I will click on no merge so this will create an inner solid here. So now we have the two solids here and uh, if you want to combine these solids you can also do it so let's say if i make the two solids in this way so now they will be now a one i will make a one solid so so you can just press the control key and then select the two solids this will combine them into the one solid and this is very useful when you want to create the a uh, continuous mesh between two surfaces and you want to keep the two solids if you want to solve the case as a one is a solid second is a uh, fluid domain. So let's say if I undo this command and uh, I just move this solid inside the my uh, this rectangle, this uh, box here, and uh, from here I move geometry up to here. Let's say so first place on the this surface, and now if I if we refer this geometry up to here, this will move this surface up to the the top surface of the this box and uh, now if you want to let's say if I want to create a hole inside the geometry so I have to combine and choose a one geometry here second geometry from here and if we want to delete this surface this uh, solid I can do it so it is already in the the mode for the deletion of the geometry so now you can see that we have the two solids and you can delete this solid from the geometry. And now we have the one hole inside the geometry of the, this box. So this is all about that, how you can create the different type of the things in the space claim. The one last thing I want to explain is that how to create the plane. So let's say we have the plane here and choose the, any axis. So this will create the planes in this way, which is here. And again, I use a combined command. 
and this time I will choose this uh, box with the uh, hole inside and uh, as a cutter I will choose uh, this plane here and then I just remove the one part of the cube from here so now I have the geometry like this so this is all about the space claim basic features the sketching mode the 3d mode and some geometric operations for example combine and uh, deleting the geometry from inside thank you